everyone. I hope you're all well and I hope you're all looking forward to going back to school next week. So today we're going to make Rocky Road, which is a great recipe because you can kind of do anything you really want with it and put anything you want in it. I've had to kind of prepare a lot of stuff in advance because there's no baking. We've had to melt chocolate and stuff, but I'll go over that with you. So before we start, remember hands washed, surface clean. So equipment you're going to need is you're going to need a tray greased and lined just check the size again it's an 18 centimeter this is just slightly bigger but roughly 18 centimeter tray you see how deep it is and I've greased it and lined it scales rolling pin bowl measuring spoon got a knife got a spoon and I've got a chopping board which has got stuff on it you're also going to need some sort of bag that you can put stuff in so what you need for this recipe is you're going to need digestive biscuits you need just check the rest 200 grams so that was about half this packet of digestive biscuits you're going to need 135 grams of butter you're going to need syrup two to three tablespoons now i have put two tablespoons in my recipe and found that's enough you're going to need marshmallows it says 100 grams i'm just putting in a little bit less than that because i'm not a great fan of them so i'm putting other things in then if you want to you can add 100 grams of additional ingredients so because it's near easter i've gone for a sort of easter type theme so i've kind of raided the aisles and the eggs so i have got some cream eggs mini eggs and some chocolate mini eggs you're also going to need 200 grams of chocolate you can use milk or dark or you can do a mix maybe 100 of each whatever you want this is just milk that's what i like what i've done before i started is i sorted my eggs out and i took some of my mini eggs and my chocolate orange eggs and i put them in a bag and I sort of bashed them into bits. I've got crumbs, I've got chunks, but I also kept a few and just took my sharp knife and sort of cut them in half. With the little mini cream eggs, what I did is I took them out and again, I've cut them in half. There is a seam on a cream egg, so if you use your knife and just go through it, it does cut quite well. So I've got about 12 halves, so six little mini cream eggs. They are sitting there. So first thing you need to do is you need to take your digestive biscuits, put them in your bag and bash them with a rolling pin until you have a mixed crumb. So as you can see, there's some bigger bits, there's some crummy bits. Do it to whatever you like. In my bowl, I took my 135 grams of butter, my 200 grams of chocolate and my two tablespoons of syrup and I put them in a bowl and I'll tip this down you can see it and we'll carry on from there let's get this in the right position so I melted it as you can see not in the right place so you can see and I've stirred it well when it comes out it looks a bit funny because it looks split but just give it a good stir and let it cool slightly so this has been out for a minute or two so I've let it cool so into this I'm going to tip all my biscuit. Okay. I'm going to put in my marshmallows. Now, if you don't have many marshmallows, you can use um, full size ones, just chop them up. So I'm putting in my marshmallows. Well, these are actually my daughter's marshmallows, so I've pinched some marshmallows. Then I'm going to take my crushed mini eggs and chocolate mini eggs and put them in. Now I'm going to give it a good stir. Make sure it's all coated. Can you see it's still getting all coated? So some of the biscuits haven't got chocolate on them, so get it well mixed in. Now, as I said, Rocky Road, you can do anything you want with. So if you just wanted to keep it to biscuits and marshmallows, that's absolutely fine. Just do that. You could put in popcorn, raisins, dried fruit, Mars bars chopped up, Twix chopped up, Maltesers chopped up. Anything.
anything at all. Just use your imagination and uh, go with it and see what you get. So I've got my tray here. So we'll tip it in. And I'm going to spread it out into the sort of corners of the chin. Get it well spread out, give it a push down. So it's nice and flat. It looks quite sort of sloppy at this point. Hopefully you can see what that looks like. So, then I've got all my egg halves that I've kept here. And I'm just going to arrange my cream egg halves on top. Um, put them on, sort of in a pattern, like that, and then I'm going to take my halves of my mini eggs that I kept back and just push them in. Now push them in a little bit, not to cover them, but just to make sure they're in, they're nice and stuck in the recipe. So give them a good push in, I'll carry on with that in a minute. So you keep doing that till you've got as much as you want on. Here's one, I mean earlier. It's, it's, not quite set yet but here's one you can see i've covered it in the cream eggs and all the uh, half mini eggs once you've decorated it pop it in the fridge it's going to take about two to three hours to set then you'll cut it into about 12 slices 12 fingers or if you're really greedy you can have bigger ones but i think it's probably quite sweet so that's it for today um if you want me to do some more baking when you're back at school, let me know and I'll make some more videos and what you fancy me doing, uh, you can let me know about that. And if not, hopefully enjoy your time back at school and I'll hopefully see you soon. Bye.